Johnny's mom told him that, by the end of the week, if he has saved at least $100, she would give him an extra $10. If he did not manage to save at least $100, though, she would prefer not to give him the extra cash. Clear? Now, let's define a function called add 10, which takes as a parameter the unknown m that represents the money Johnny saved by the end of the week. What should we tell the computer to do? If m is greater than or equal to 100, then add 10 to the saved amount. If it is not, return a statement that lets us know Johnny should save more. That is, if m is greater than or equal to 100, let m assume the value of m plus 10. Yes, it is what you saw. We have m on both sides of the equation, and that is perfectly fine. As a matter of fact, it is not an equation. Remember that the equality sign stands for assigning the expression on the right side to what is written on the left side. Let's complete the if part with return m. To sum up, logically, we mention m as a parameter. Then, we substitute its value with a greater value than m with 10. At the end, we say, from now on, return a value equal to the new m. Finally, in all other cases, for instance, save more. Johnny should learn it is a good habit to have some cash on the side, right? Let's see if our intuition was correct. Add 10 of 110. Good, 120. And if M was equal to 50, amazing! Everything is correct. When you think of it from a logical perspective, it makes sense, doesn't it? What would you use a computer for? To solve problems for you. And it can do that through functions. You'll most probably need to ask the machine to execute something if a given parameter is within certain limits and ask it to execute another thing if the parameter is beyond these limits. Therefore, Combining your knowledge about conditionals and functions in Python comes right on the money. Great! Just keep the pace for our next video. Thank you for watching.